So this is Emma. Mm. You want to introduce me? This is Martin. Also known as Daddy. <laughs> and today we've been excluded from school because somebody coughed. <laughs> Can you cough please? <coughs> Thank you. A bit of hysteria but there we go. She's been excluded for a week. So today we're going to make Pens. What type of pens? Wood pens. Are you going to show us? Which ones did you make? I made these two. And we're now going to go through the sequence of how to build and make these pens. I hope you enjoy our video. This is home teaching. So now we've marked out the wood uh, at the correct length, uh, we're now going to cut the wood on a fret saw. So now we've got our two bits of wood, what are we going to do next? We're going to sand the ends down. Now we're going to do the hole in the middle of the wood. So you've slid the bit of wood in the special adapters we've got for the chuck and now you need to use the chuck key to tighten it up. Down on the bottom. Get it in nice and square. That's right. Because the wood's square, you don't really need to over tighten this. That's good. I just need to move the tail stock up. Okay, go on then. So this is a 7mm drill and the drill matches the uh, brass tubes that you uh, glue into the wood. So once you've nearly got through, you can sometimes feel the drill go light or you can actually see through here, if you've got a light coloured background as we do, you can see the drill come through the end of the wood. Now you can screw it out again. So the next stage of making the pen is to glue the brass inserts into the wood that we've drilled. And to glue them we're going to use the 5 minute epoxy resin. So I've got everything ready and I've got lots to do at once because I don't like to waste the glue. To mix the glue we've got a nice piece of paper and we've got little cotton buds which we've cut the ends off. So we're now going to mix the glue up and glue them all at one go. To help put the tubes in I've got a special insertion tool. It just stops you getting glue all over your fingers. So this epoxy resin should dry in four minutes, I like to get it a little longer and you just need to mix equal parts of both the uh, resins. I tend not to mix too much up, um, if you do it ends up going everywhere and it's best just to be uh, conservative with it. Also it helps you if you have got two people because it does go off very quickly. That's our equal parts, now let's mix it. Are right, you ready Emma? No, yeah, yeah, go. So I tend just to put a little bit around the last bit. Try not to get it down the hole though Emma. Once you've got it in. You don't have to use this tool but it just makes it easier. 
I give it a nice slowly push it in and do a little bit of a twisting motion to get that glue distributed all the way down the tube. And you want it just pushed in. Bring it out, make sure it's not gone in too far. And it's evenly in the middle. And I'll quickly do the others. But you do need to do this quick because it does run out. Okay, so we've uh, glued all the tubes into the pieces of wood and we've given them about an hour to dry. I know it's a uh, quick setting epoxy and it should only take four to five minutes but I think it's best to leave it a good hour. Um, the next stage now is to put it back into the uh, lathe chuck and then we've got this tool which I will push in to the tube before starting and then that will very nicely finish the end of the pen blank. Okay, so we've got the two bits of wood prepped and ready to turn. And I've uh, taken the chuck out of the lathe and put the uh, pen turning mandrel on. And at the uh, and at the other end I've got a rotating centre. So I'm just going to knock the uh, edges off for my little girl so she can then uh, turn it down to what she requires. So there you go, this is quite a soft wood so it's not too hard to do. Um, if you try to take a too big cut you'll find it will uh, stall and spin on the mandrel. So be nice and gentle. How's it looking? Mm, nice. I think I just need to get into there. So what are you doing now? Um, I'm making bumps in the lines where the lines are and it's going to be bumpy. Okay. Same 
towards my pen bits. So what's the next stage then? Um, we need to make them nice and smooth and sand them. Okay. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Okay, what are we going to do now? So we're going to assemble the pen. First we need to put the nib in. First you push it in a tiny bit. And then with this, you put it in the knob. And then push. So the next bit to insert is this twist mechanism. Um, we need to push that in, the brassy end in first, and you want to push it in nearly to the line that you can see formed there. Uh, it's important not to push it in too far. Push it in, test it with the ink, the pen insert, and then push it in a little bit more if it doesn't fit right. Okay, stop there. No, it's not. Fine. Okay, a little bit more then. Oh, okay. Try the insert. That work nicely. Yep. Good. So, what's the next bit? You need to assemble these two bits onto here, and then push it all on to the pen. Yep. So that's the pen clip in the end. Yep. So we're going to use the jig again, or the, whatever you call this, pen press. Lovely. Then how do you do it? Then you just push it on to the pen. Lovely, thank you. 